For the sign of Cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Knight of Swords and it's with the Queen of Wands. Now the Knight of Swords, it's actually a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It does point to physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, for something you'd you'd likely you're likely to like what you hear now the knight of swords it's showing a lot of activity travel being out and about and getting things accomplished so with this knight of swords you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you and that's a really good thing it's about going after your heart's desire Now, it's with this Queen of Wands, which refers to a woman who has a lot of fire. Fiery type of energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So when this is not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work or career, family, romance. Queen is positive. The Queen of Wands. Very positive. Uplifting energy. Actually, when she stands for an actual person in your life, she's a really good friend who is on your side, solidly. 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, just a little side note about this Queen of Wands. If you are trying to conceive, this card is one of the most positive signs there can be. So be careful if you are not trying to conceive. So basically, Cancer, the recent past energy, Knight of Swords, clarified by this Queen of Wands. So I'm getting that whoever you're dealing with, uh, this person with this recent past energy, they were very, very determined, very determined to be with you. This person was planning, taking action. Um, the Knight of Swords is about fast action, just rushing in. You see how this Knight of Swords is? It's the card above the word pass. He, if you can see the look on his face, the details, it's like very strong and forceful going forward with a lot of energy. So he's got a sword in his hand. He, this person would have cut out anything just to be with you. Yeah, so someone was really really wanting to be with you taking action and planning very determined this person could have been like the queen of wands used to getting what they want very confident a lot of fire energy planning to take action towards you coming in to sweep you off your feet maybe so that's a recent past energy let's see what's coming up for the two of you now we got the Knight of Cups, and it's with the Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups is actually positive. It's a great card to see in a reading. This one does come with messages. They're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. Kind of like this Knight of Swords. So, yeah, this person, wow. It's, it, they're... They're right. The Knight of Swords is rushing in, and the Nine of Cups is rushing in, too. Yeah, with this Knight of Cups, you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. It means good news. With matters of the heart, it's coming in. Yeah. So, that's a Knight of Cups, and... Let's see what the Ace of Pentacles has to say. That's the card below the word present. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is likely to find you enjoying new beginnings, several levels, on several levels, and these will be very positive new beginnings. So you're likely to be feeling really optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going really well. You could be starting something new or thinking about it. And this could be in the area of work or personally or in some kind of way, some new beginning. 
whatever it is, it's a good thing. So, Cancer, what we got coming up, Knight of Cups, paired, clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. So, it looks like you could be wanting a new beginning. Yeah, I'm getting that the person that you're dealing with, that we just talked about in the recent past, the recent past energy between you and them, like I said, they're very determined to be with you in the recent past, this recent past energy. They rush in there, they cut out whatever gets in their way just to be with you. But I, I'm getting a lot of you want a new beginning. And it looks like maybe you know somebody who's very romantic and sensitive. Because that's what the Knight of Cups is about. Someone that maybe you've been communicating with. And this person, yeah, they, they want to rush in and be with you also. They're very romantic and sensitive. That's what the Knight of Cups is about. So you could be dealing with, I'm getting some of you cancers are dealing with more than one person. And... This person that's this Knight of Cups, it, I'm getting that to a lot of you want a new beginning with this person. It's a different person from the recent past energy. So let's see what the challenge is. Well, we got this Four of Cups and it's with a Death card. Now the Four of Cups, it's actually about wishful thinking. It, it warns us to remember to pay attention. To what is now, count your many blessings we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. Because if you can see the Four of Cups, it's kind of above the word challenge. You see how this man looks like he could be sitting at a park. And if, I don't know if you can see the details on his face, but he looks like he's got a lot of regret. And he's just got his head down, and actually his hand is bleeding. There's a lot of blood on his hand. And he can he cannot even get up to th take care of himself because he's so stuck in regret. And just wishing his life away. Like I said, he can't even focus because he's so s stuck in his head. He can't even get up and, you know, tend to his hand. And it's... It's got a whole bunch of blood all over it. So, yeah, it's about wishful thinking. Focusing on what could have been. Yeah, so you want to be sure you're counting your blessings when you get the Four of Cups. And try not to spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a uh, Actually, a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Okay, so Four of Cups is with the Death card. Keep in mind, this Death card, it does not necessarily even or even usually indicate physical death. It is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death as we are all creatures with free will. And such things are not written in stone. The death card. It simply indicates transformation and change. It's definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, maybe some people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. This transition, it can be very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. So basically, your challenge coming up, Cancer, Four of Cups, and the Death Card. So, I'm picking up this person, like I said, I... Cancers, some of you are dealing with two people or more. But anyway, this Knight of Swords we talked about, who was very determined about you, it looks like they've got some regrets. Yeah, they could, they could see or pick up. They're getting vibes or whatever. Maybe you've told them that you might be seeing someone else. 
Because like I said, I'm getting some of you want a new beginning with this romantic and sensitive, sensitive Knight of Cups. So your person, uh, whoever this Knight of Swords is for you, they have feelings of, um, they're starting to feel unloved by you. Because the Four of Cups can be about feeling unloved and devalued. Yeah. So they feel it or you've told them you want a new beginning with someone else or maybe they saw you out with someone else but they don't feel good about it so yeah the death card you've come to a conclusion about this knight of swords maybe you lost interest or maybe they the Knight of Swords has come to a conclusion and they realize that you've lost interest. Because the death card can be about losing interest. So, I think they get the message. Whoever this Knight of Swords is for you. They were very determined about you at one point. But they see you, you got your eyes on someone else. So, yep, they feel devalued by you. And unloved so like I said either you've lost interest in them or they realize that they need to come to a conclusion about this and maybe they they they're moving on too um, yeah because the death card is there so Let's see what the outcome is. Now we got the King of Swords and it's with the Eight of Swords. Now the King of Swords, it can, st it can stand for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful type of person. He will, but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. So you may be tempted to think about only how things affect you personally as the King of Swords. Uh, especially when this is not representing an actual person in your life, so you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords, a very, very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this person to change his mind or do what you want. So you might need to change something major about your thoughts, maybe expectations. And now that's the King of Swords, and it's with Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is about holding yourself back. Yeah, Eight of Swords is the card below the word outcome. You see how this man, he has his self caged in with all these swords. Um, there's a fire behind him. I'm sure he can feel the heat. There's an opening in front of him. He could easily put one foot in front of the other and just run. But he's holding himself back. He's just standing there. Yeah, he's in a mental prison. He put himself there. Fear of moving into the future or could be afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. It's about thinking what, thinking through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of, of the situation is probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Okay, so the outcome for you, Cancer. Hmm, like I said, you got your eyes on someone. You want a new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles, with whoever this romantic and sensitive person is that you like. Yeah. The other person is feeling unloved by you. And they, they've come to a conclusion that maybe they need to just realize that you didn't choose them. But this forceful energy is here. Your person that you've, you you didn't um, this Knight of Swords, whoever this is, um, they like said they come to a conclusion that you've probably lost interest. But then they're starting to think maybe they should be forceful toward you. Yeah, maybe they should just be demanding. This person really likes you. Maybe they should take a different approach. That's what they, they're thinking. Like I said, because they see you lost interest. Yeah, they see you lost interest and you could actually be with someone else.
So you're breaking someone's heart, Cancer. Yeah, you'd rather be with this Knight of Cups. You got your eyes on a new beginning with someone else. So, like I said, this Knight of Swords really likes you. So what they do is they, they hold themselves back. They might reach out to you at another time or another day. But for right now, they're just afraid to try to move forward or come towards you. Because they see that you're different. You've changed. You don't receive them as well as you used to. So they're trying to think of a different way to, to come at you. Yeah, maybe they were coming at you in a way that they thought was not getting them anywhere. So now they're thinking maybe they should be more forceful towards you. But for now, the outcome is showing that they just, they're just waiting. They're just holding themselves back. Yeah, this person really wants to be with you. But they see that you got your eyes on someone else. So, yeah, Cancer, you're breaking somebody's heart. Anyway, good luck with your new beginning. Yeah, you got your eyes on somebody that's really romantic and sensitive. Yeah, you like this Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is about a lot of love. Whenever you hear the word cups in the tarot, it usually means love. Yeah, the Knight of Cups brings messages of love. So somebody's telling you everything you want to hear. But it's not this Knight of Swords. So, like I said, good luck with that, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonated as you know general readings. They do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also have a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? Be in the next few weeks? Be in the next few weeks?